Taxi operator Keith Roy Lake says the season isn't going too well thus far. However, it's still early. Every season, like a particular day in the week, become a busy day. Sometimes it's Tuesday, sometimes Thursday. This year it's Wednesday. So from since November start Wednesday, Wednesdays, except for this week. Because this week is just going to be, um, this week is very, very bad. He says a lot depends on the type of cruise vessels which dock in the harbor. Well, the Viking, as I said, do good for the coach buses, but it doesn't do nothing for the independent and for the small bus transfer, period. That is like a, a boat that all inclusive, so the, the coach buses. So, I mean, we're not going to say total is not good because the coach buses do very well with the Vikings. Lake says it's also dependent on the stops because if Antigua is the last stop, the tourists may have little money left for tours and many don't come off the ships. Colombian Emeralds store manager Beverly Merchant Brown shares the store's experience. I'm going to be very honest. It has been off to a slow start. However, I can see that there's great potential. We have more and more vessels coming in. We just need to get them coming into the stores. But somewhere along the line, I think we're still going to have a very merry and a sparkling Christmas. We also got reviews from some of the smaller vendors. One didn't wish to be on camera. Well, so far it's rough and it's tough, to be honest. And the place so hot, it's hard for tourists to come in. Very slow. Sometimes I come here for days, I don't make not even, even one bag I can sell. I have to go beach in the Kinsombe every evening to see if I get money. It's only the beginning, so as the season continues, they're all hopeful for continued improvement. Cheryl Visa reporting for ABS News.